Can you stand and greet someone beside you? No, at least five people. Thank you for being present here today. No. Ang imong katapad, mo ba nagihapon ang katapad ni mo last Sunday? So God bless everyone. Excited ba ta magsimba sa Ginoo? Amen. Sama sa giingon ni David, nga excited siya kanunay. No, to go to the temple to worship his God. Maupod na ang gusto ni Lord nga ang atong kasing-kasing. Amen. So, for the next two months, nata sa isa katima about evaluating ang atong spiritual condition, spiritual wellness. Unyaon sa atong word last Sunday, I remember pa mo, it's about hearing, di ba? Kanang maminaw nga nagasimba sa kinoo, kanang kapaminaw ba ta? Every Sunday sa word ni Lord, ato bag yung gipaminawan sa mga atong kasing-kasing nagasimbag yun, excited na maminaw. Amen ba? Hearing, di ba? Hearing, gapaminaw kita, o ang tinood nga gapaminaw, nagabago ang kinabuhi kaya ato mang gina-apply sa atong kinabuhi. Amen? Amen. Basahon na itong karoon ng atong word. The second is about uh, let's read the uh, uh, let's read the verse today. Joshua 1.8 1-2-3 Study this book of instruction continuously continually meditate on it day and night so you will be sure to obey everything written in it. Only then will you prosper and succeed in all you do. So in all you do good. Di ba? Amen. Glory to God. Sige. mag Let's pray. Father, you are our loving God and you are faithful and you are always good. And you want us, Lord, to check our hearts. The condition, Lord, of our spiritual being, our spiritual condition. You, you want us, Lord, to grow and apply everything that we learn from you and from your word. Father, teach us to really hear from you. Every day, every Sunday, Lord, we will hear from you. And also, Lord, that we will read and search about the truth that you have placed in your word that we will be like the Bereans Lord that we will check and study your word deeply and understand have the right uh, interpretation of your word understanding Father so that we will grow in the likeness and image of our Lord Jesus Christ Father bless everyone present here today bless your people Lord bless every heart that you will put that excitement and joy, Lord, sa among mga kasing-kasing. Salamat, Lord, sa among mga first-timers that we have invited here today. Salamat, O God, sa mga victories. Salamat, Lord, sa among mga na-invite sa Life Connect last Friday sa Veranza. Salamat, Lord, sa mga kalag na naluwas. Lord, among giampo ang among nasod sa Pilipinas. Among gipray ang mga opisyalis na mo, Lord, sa national o sa city, sa siyudad, sa Jensen, Father. Lord, we give you praise and we give you glory and we worship you with all, with all of our hearts, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Lahat ng excited para mag-worship kay Jesus, sisigaw ng hallelujah in one, two, three.
time. Lord, we continue to lift your name in this place, oh God. Lord, no words, no songs are enough to interpret, Lord God. Kung gaan mo kami kamahal, Panginoon. Continue to speak to us this afternoon, oh God. Continue to fill this place with your love. As we lift your holy name. Worship you, Jesus. We worship you. I'm finding myself at a loss for words. And the fun thing is, it's okay. The last thing I need is to. to hear what you would say the word of God speak would you pull down like rain and washing my eyes to see your majesty to be still and know that you're in this place Please let me stay in rest in your holiness. The word of God speaks. I'm finding myself in the midst of you.
myself at a loss for words and the fun thing is it's a
nagpaalala sa pangalan mo, Jesus. Patuloy kami magtitiwala sa iyong mga salita. Hallelujah! Lord, we declare your words in our lives. You are true to us. Sometimes we are unfaithful to you, but you are always faithful to us. presence alone we will be satisfied Lord your name is great your name is power oh Jesus Christ Lord you are always true and you are always faithful your name is magnificent oh God it is eternally wonderful Lord tonight we want to set our hearts right to you Allow us, oh God, to experience your word. Lord, at this time, all the more that we need you, all the more that we need your sustaining grace, all the more that we need your unfailing love, Lord, in the name of Jesus, oh God. To those who are confused right now, to those who are tired, let your word bring comfort to them. To those who are sick, let your word bring healing in the name of Jesus. Lord, to those who are uncertain, 
Let your word bring assurance. Give them revelation today, oh God. I pray that your word will be a source of life to each one present here right now. Lord, we know that in you alone, we will never fail. In you alone, oh God, we will succeed. In you alone, Lord, we will have that life, a life that is full, a life that is satisfied. I praise, oh God, I praise you. We lift you high in this place in the name of Jesus, oh God. There's no other name that we want to worship. There's no other name that we want to glorify in this place, but you alone, Jesus Christ. In your name, we experience a victory. In your name, we have life. In your name, we experience salvation. We praise you. We glorify you. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Amen and amen and amen. Please be seated, everyone. Pwede ba tayong umupo? Ayan. And uh, good afternoon. Magandang, um, uh, magandang hapon po sa lahat. And can I see yung mga kamay na mga new friends natin ngayon? Pwede ho bang kaway-kaway lang dyan? Do we have our new friends? And of course, uh, CCFI family, pwede ba nating palakpakan yung mga new friends natin ngayon? Okay. So on behalf of our senior pastors, si Bishop Joel and Pastora Julnes, we welcome everyone. No, um, welcome na welcome po kayo dito sa CCFI family. Ayun. And of course, uh, I don't want to prolong your agony, right? So last Sunday, we started our checkup. We had our checkup of our spiritual wellness, right? We began with checking our hearing. And I hope and I pray that this afternoon, wala na'y bungol, <laughs> right? Because last Sunday, si Mami Julnes, she had, no, um, what's this, an extensive, I may say, no, reminder and check up kung kumusta ba yung listening prowess natin before kay Lord. And today, of course, we will be talking another check up. And that would be about our reading. Kumusta ba yung pagbabasa natin? Okay? And um, last Sunday, as I remember, si Mami, she, she talked about the four language skills, right? Ano nga yun? The four language skills are listening, reading, speaking, and writing. Okay? And you know what? According to, yung, yung, isa din ito sa mga lessons actually ni Mami. No, according to language acquisition theory, itong dalawa, si listening at saka si reading, they are considered as linguistic comprehension. Okay? And itong dalawa, they are successive skills. Ibig sabihin, nagasundanay lang ni sila. Okay? So if you want to improve your language, you have to be good in this too. You have to be good in understanding. If, if you want to be good in comprehension and in understanding, you have to be good in these two skills, which are listening, no, last Sunday, and today we will be talking about reading. And you know what? This linguistic comprehension priors to linguistic production, which are the skills of writing and speaking. So I hope my, my professor is still proud of me that I could still recall <laughs> the lessons on language acquisition theory. Now, ibig sabihin, without the linguistic comprehension, we could not have the linguistic production. Siguro, this is one of the gaps that we have to bridge as Christians. Uh, I could say that we can't create that impact to the world up until now Kasi kulang pa tayo sa linguistic production. Marami pa sa atin yung nahihiya to share the Word of God. We can't produce the Word of God. The very reason is that kulang pa tayo sa linguistic comprehension. Wala pa tayo nung more and more of the listening and more and more of the reading. Are you with me? Because once we understand, that's the moment that we could communicate. The moment that we could communicate effectively, that's the moment that we could influence. Now that we could influence, that's the day now that we can create an impact. 
Are you with me? Okay, so kailangan talaga nitong listening and reading so that we will be good in speaking and in writing. So mga parents dyan, mga teachers, be good to start in this foundation of our kids in listening and reading, okay? Are you with me? <laughs> Ayun. Sige, so let us have our key verse. Nabasa na ito ni Toro kanina, but let us just read this again. In Joshua 1.8, study this word of instruction continually. No? Wala hunong yod. Continually. Meditate on it day and night. So it requires this frequency. Not just every morning, not just every night, but the required frequency is day and night. Right? Okay, so you will be sure to obey everything in it. Diba mas ginagugulan nato og panahon, mas nagatatak sa ato ang mga utok. That's why God wants us to be frequent tong pagbabasa natin. Only then you will prosper and succeed in all you do. And I would like to declare that everyone here, tanan nga naa diri karon, we all want to be successful. Right? Wala man siguro diri nakapungko dira karon kay gusto niya maging failure. Right? Okay, and the very key, as we can read in the verse right now, the very key so that we can be successful in everything that we do, is to what? To study the law of instruction, day and night. Okay, and of course, it talks about reading, so let me give you a story. This is a story about a conversation. Sang isa ka barbero, kag isa ka pastor. I believe some of you, perhaps, you, you were able to hear this. Okay, so there was a conversation between sa isa ka barbero o isa ka pastor. So the, the barber exclaimed, no, medyo lagot po ang barbero. Sabi niya, I don't believe in God. Wala ko nagatuo nga na ay ginoo. For if he was real, kung tinuod mag yun na ay ginoo, the lives of people around should not be hard. Nga nung may nagapigado pa man. No, wala yun ginoo. Okay, so he can't help but to think that God does not exist. No? Pero siyempre, ang pastor, he contented. No? He contended. No? Nag, ano ang pastor? Nag, nag-answer po sa iya ha. Ingon niya po, I don't believe barbers exist too. Wala po ko nagatuo, ay nagatuo po ko, nga ang mga bar, nga walay barbero. Kaya nga naman, kung may barbero, if barbers exist, why are there so many people with hair unattended. Nga nung damo man ka ayog yapon, og mga tao, nga way gupit. No, tanawa bi imong katapad kung wa na gupit, wa nakakita og barbero. Okay. May dala sila Pastor Kids, pero may nakakita og barbero. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay? So, ingon sang barber, no, the unbelieving barber retorted. No, ni balos pud siya. Don't blame me for their hair. No, ayaw ko pasula. Kay wa sila ka pagupit, nga wa sila ka pagupit. Ingon niya, it's their fault that they don't come to me. Sala na nila kay wa sila ni duol sa ako ah. So the pastor calmly answered the barber. So ingon sang pastor, rightly so. Tama ka. In the same way, God cannot be responsible for the state of man. It is we who do not come to God for his ways. Does it ring a bell? Okay, palakpakan nato si Lord. No? Because we human being, there had been times wherein kung nagapigado na ganita, when we are struggling, the very response or the very reaction is this. Basulo nato ang ginoo. Kung, kung Lord, kung nagaexist ka nga nung ingani man. No? And we forgot all the services that we attended. We forgot now all the devotionals that we had. No? Tama ba? Ingon ganit dere in Proverbs 19.3. No, as the Proverbs, it correctly observes. People ruin their lives by their own foolishness and then are angry at the Lord. No, ang mga nagakahita bu sa atu ah, especially the problems, are the consequences of our foolishness because we do not follow the ways of God, and that is the truth. Okay? Now, listen to this. To come to God for His ways is to know His ways. Tama? Kung gusto nato mo duol sa atong ginoo, no? Dali lang yun. It is to know His ways. To approach the Bible. 
okay? And to know His ways, it is by reading His law. And let me prompt you with this question. No? And ganahan ko sa question nga ni. Have you not read? Di ba? Have you not read? Hindi mo ba nabasa? O kung sabi sa pa, wak ka ka basa? Okay? And we know, there had been a lot of times wherein not reading is not excusable. No, kung wak ka ka basa, dili ka gapon excused. Right? Because ignorance is not excused in the law. Right? In school, for example, kung wak ka ka basa sa imong homework, the teacher will give you a failing grade. Or the teacher will give you a zero. Kay wak ka man ka basa. You know, so teacher ni mo, wak ka ka basa? <laughs> have you not read? Or in a community, for example, if you have not read of the memo, or if you have not read of the announcement, you may miss an opportunity. No, sila dito kipang tagaan na sila o um, pagkaon. No, tapos ikaw nakibot ka, no? Na, nagulat ka na lang yung kapitbahay mo, merong pagkain, and yung kapitbahay mo, sinabi sa'yo, have you not read? Wak ka di ay ka basa? No? Diba? Important to the eye. Or another example, at work. Because I'm working in an HR division, kung waka ka basa sa company rules and regulations, you will be sanctioned. Right? May penalty ka. O dili mo pwede sabihin, wak magud ko ka basa. No, sabton ka hinoon sa ibang boss, waka ka basa. <laughs> diba? Ingay na. And another thing, in GCs, no, sa mga GC na to, I believe, no, kung dili man tanayin, bas. But most of us, we belong to a GC. May mga group chat ta, right? And in our GCs, kung wa taka back red, unsa man, ma out of place ta. Na unsa na di Aisha. No, tapos sabton ka si imong cell group or si imong life group, wa di ay kakabasa. <laughs> di ba? Importante yun di ay nga magbasa. Okay, are you with me? Lamang ang may alam. And I could still remember the the. The, the, the moment we're in, Manug College na ko. Na Manug College na kami ni Totot o ni Dina at nga time. And I was so scared. O si Nanay, she encouraged me by saying, Kabalo ka naman magbasa. Hindi ka madula sa janggas, ah. No? Di ba, importante, Gid? No? Kung nakabasa ka, no, mo tatak yun sa imong utok. And therefore, you have something in you. You have something valuable. Right? That is the importance. That's how crucial reading is. And with that also, as you, as you can notice tung sa mga examples nato, it is so detrimental. It is so harmful kung wa takabasa. Right? Okay, and even Jesus, you know what? Uh, sige, before that, even in Hosea, di ba ingon dito sa Hosea, my people are destroyed because they lack knowledge. Kung wa takabasa, wa gid takabalo. Kay wa takabalo, ma-destroy yud ta. Okay? There. And even Jesus, there had been occasions wherein we could read Jesus saying to the Sadducees and to the Pharisees, Have you not read? Wa di ay kakabasa? No, and I will, be, I will just be leaving this to you para di mo spend og time. This will be your homework. And I hope in this homework, dili mo ingon si Jesus sa inyo nga, wa di ay kakabasa. Okay? And these are the, the occasions, no? Nga ingon si Jesus, have you not read to the Sadducees and to the Pharisees? Number one, in defense of his disciples, at this time, even the Sabbath day, nangita sila pagkaon, no? Pero si Jesus, have you not read ang iyang uh, nga ingon sa mga Sadducees? Another, answering questions regarding divorce, Defending children who praised him in the temple regarding the prophecy of his becoming the chief cornerstone and responding to the Sadducees about the resurrection of the dead. Sige. So I hope you could screenshot, you could picture those instances and that would be your homework. But this is my point. You know what? The question of Jesus, have you not read, wakakabasa, it suggests a major failing. No? Ginaingnan ta ni Lord og dako nga failure nato bilang mga Kristiyano. It suggests a major feeling in our lives, especially for us Christians. Kay wa takabasa. And let me tell you this. The problem is that many of us kung dili mangyud tanan, do not read the word of God. 
okay? We do not read the Word of God as we should, okay? We do not read the Word of God, and that is the reason why our spiritual wellness is affected. No, gamay lang ang problema, nawala na ta sa LG. No, gamay lang ang temptation, nawala na ta sa Sunday service. It's because wa ta kabasa, poor ang atuang spiritual wellness. Kung uso karon ang mental wellness, di ba ipauso po nato ang spiritual wellness. So let us raise the question to ourselves. Ask yourself right now. Pamangkuto nato ato ang sarili. How well do I read? No? How well do I read? Okay? And to be honest, I'm not here right now speaking to you because ako ang pinaka, no, ako yun ang pinaka, tawag sini, extensive sa pagbasa. No, grabe yun, wide reader yun ko. No? Dili. No, there had also been a lot of times wherein nag-digress po ko sa ako ang priority kay Lord. O there had been a lot of instances na ang devotional na ko, it's not already out of love or out of passion. But it's already out of a requirement. Kay itsek mang good. Kay pastor mang good ko. No? And I pondered. Okay, I, I pondered, nga naman, nga naman, nga, there had been times wherein I've lost the appetite for reading. Why there had been a lot of times wherein, wa na ko'y gana, no, wa na ko'y gana mag -divo. Yes, I still study or I still read the Bible, but it's not the, the, the passionate studying that God requires or that God pleases. And thank God for answering me in these verses. No, the, the, the answer is, I believe that I forgot to delight in the Word of God. Kananganahan yun kaayo. And I want everyone, especially katong mga naka-encounter na, I want you to go back to the very moment wherein you had your Devo the first day after your encounter. And I believe that was a delight. Right? Nindot kaayo mag-devotional at that time. Can you relate? Right? Okay, and let us read Psalms 1, 1 to 3. Blessed is the one who does not walk in step with the wicked or stand the way that sinners take or sit in the company of mockers. But whose delight, ang gana nato, ang joy nato, ang kalipay nato, this is our delight, is in the law of the Lord, is in the Bible. And who meditates on it, on, on, on His law, day and night. When we say about meditate, it means that we spend time on it. It means that we soak in it. Okay? It means that we study about it. Okay? So that is meditating. And if we do these two, if, if we do these two, kanang kalipay nato, ang mubasa og Bible, og naga meditate ta, naga spend time yuta, this will be the result. No? Ingundari, that person is like a tree planted by streams of water which yields its fruit in season and whose leaf does not wither. Whatever they do prospers. Amen? Which is very parallel to our key verse in Joshua 1.8. In everything we do, we will be successful. Right? Because we love to meditate on God's word. Did we catch that? Right? As we delight in God's word, and meditate on it. Our picture is like no a strong tree. On someone ang strong sabi saya, bakod, okay, bakod ng tree sturdy. No ogwala yod, di yod mamatay. Amen, huba. No, it does not wither, and it brings me to the first point. Ngano man? Why should you read? Why should we read? Ngano kilangan magyud nato mo basa? It's because God wants you to be like a strong tree full of life. No, gusto ni Lord ing ana ang atong itsura. No, dili matamlay, dili sickly, no, dili depressed, dili frustrated. But God wants us nga magbarog just like a sturdy tree. Biskan putot ka, sturdy gapon. Just kidding. Okay? And let me give you a picture of a sturdy tree. Okay? This is... A mock bane burr oak tree. Yan. Okay? Di ba nindot kayo na tanaw, no? 
when a tree is sturdy, when a, when a tree is strong, when a tree is full of life, diba? how wonderful, how magnificent the view is, right? Okay, and that is the McBain uh, bur oak tree, okay? And let me give you some trivia about that tree. No, that tree actually is a rare, no, pinasahi good, is a rare natural landmark near Columbia, Missouri. Ayon. And, no, sino makagess kung pilang idad anang tree nga na? It's already 400 years old, right? Kisa gani, 20 plus pa lang. No, murag hagard na kayo na wong. <laughs> Kaya nga naman, siguro ang rason, wa ni gabasa ay. Have you not read? No, ingana siguro. No, kung makakita siguro tas ang mga hagard of nawong. The, the question that we could have, the question that we could prompt the person. Have you not read? Okay, okay, just kidding. And uh, sa 400 years ngani, sang tree ngani, it has it has stood strong, di ba nindot ka ayo. So it withstood all storms, tanan nga plague, tanan nga drought, vandalism, even. No, nindot, grabe ang pinag-agihan sa tringa na. Pero dili ka makaingon, may giagyan ang tringa na, no? And even to a person, there are people wherein, no, makaingon ka, ha, mauba, may problema, di ay ka? No? Dili halata kay nga naman. He is like, or she is like, a strong tree full of life. And let me ask you this. How on earth has this enormous tree, no, remained alive all these years, for 400 years. And the answer is, it has to do with its extensive root system. Nangugat nagyod. Diba? No? Nangugat nagyod ng tree nga na. And because of the extensive root system, sang makbin oak tree nga na, it has continued to flourish. No? Even after 400 years. And similarly, amuna ang gusto ng picture ni Lord sa atua. That's why God is telling us, why should you read? It's because I want you to have that kind of picture. No, wherein, as we delight in, no, ang atong kalipay na, and meditate on God's truth, we grow deep roots that help us withstand the storms of life and keep us close to Jesus until he returns. Amen. Nabiskan unsa pa nga kapagaduhon, no, in lack, no, in sickness, may problema man or wala, no, basko gyapunta, sturdy gyapunta, full of life gyapun ato ang nawong, ato ang countenance gano man. We always read the word of God. Amen. Palakpakan nato si Lord. No? And why is it important really? No, nga mo basa sa word ni Lord. Because the Bible is God's words to us. It is for us. It is for you and for me. It is for all of us. Dili lang ni para kay Pastor Julnes o kay Pastor Joel para mafeed ta every Sunday or para mafeed ta every leaders meeting. No, it's all for us. If you are a mother, the more that you need the word of God. Okay, if you are a parent, if you are a student, whatever condition you are in right now, the more that you need the Word of God because the Bible is for you. Say it to yourself, the Bible is for me. Ayun. And with that, let us have 2 Timothy 3, 16 to 17. Why? Nganuman, nganuman. This is the Word of God for us because all Scripture... Okay, ining Bible nga ni is inspired by God and is useful to teach us what is true and to make us realize what is wrong in our lives. No, ginachisel ta. Okay, tanan nga mga dili dapat sa atong kaugalingon. No, ginakuha. Ginakuha ni Lord by reading His Word and by obeying the Word of God. It corrects us when we are wrong and teaches us to do what is right. God uses the Bible to prepare and equip us, His people, to do every good work. Amen? And I would want to always emphasize this, that the Bible is God's personal words to us. Para na sa atua. No, the Bible is our go-to place. 
If we want to know Him more, if we want to know who we are in the Lord, it is our go-to place because the Word of God is for us, okay? And let me share with you one of the team building takeaways that I always give to my participants. You know what, the reason why people hate each other or why people are scared of each other because we don't know each other, okay? We don't know each other because we do not communicate. We do not communicate because we are separated. And there are times wherein, kung magkasala ta kay Lord, hadlo kaayo ta sa iya ha, right? Instead nga mo approach ta duol kay Lord, mo palayo ta hinoon. Kay nga naman, no, we forgot to know God deeper. And because we don't know the Lord, we are scared of Him, right? And because we don't know Him, we don't, uh, no, no, we no longer communicate to the Lord, right? Kay wala na tayo nag-communicate kay Lord, nag-start na tayo wala add to sa service, nag-start na tayo wala add to sa Life Connect or sa Life, life Group, no, separated na punta kay Lord. Are you with me? That's why today, let us always remember that this Bible is for us. Okay? And because of that, let us have the next point. No nga nung man gusto git ni Lord, basahon nato ang Bible. Because the Bible is the path to life. No, wala na iba. Okay? Mayat na lang gani, wala na scam, scam, subong. Because a lot of people may think that it's the path to life. Money is the path to life. Insurances is the path to life. No, the Bible is the path to life. Are you with me? No? In Psalms 119.37, basahon nato na, Turn my eyes from worthless things and give me life through your word. No? Kabalug yod si Lord that these eyes are tend to be tempted. No? Diba? Dali lang kaayo mag-focus ng eyes nga ni sa mga temptasyon. Right? Dali lang kaayo ta mag-focus kung unsa ang dili necessary. Kung unsa ang dili importante. But just like David, no, let this be our prayer. Lord, turn away my eyes from worthless things. But let it be that turn my eyes towards your word because your word gives me life. Amen ba? Let us have another in Psalm still. No, ingon tani. I am severely afflicted. No, sino man ang may sakit dira karon? Sino man ang may mga problema? Sino ang nagapangluya dira karon? If you are afflicted right now, no, Ask the Lord through His Bible. Read the Bible and tell the Lord, Lord, give me life according to your word. Amen ba? Have you experienced that time where in Luya ka ayoka? No, or damo kayo ka problema. But right after you did your devotional, you were refreshed, you were encouraged, and you are so ready to face the world. Amen? No, ingana gyoid, because the Bible is the path. To life. And let me give you this as a warning. In Proverbs 14, 12, there is a way that seems right to a man, but its end is the way to death. Kis aman God, may tendency punta ng magpakunukuno, kunuhay kabalo. Okay? But I hope today that ends. Amen, huba. And let me just read this. God fully understands that our human eyes look to worthless things and our hearts are prone to wander away from God. But when we delight in God's word, meditate on it regularly and follow his commands, we become like that tree that we were talking about a while ago, planted by the streams of water and full of life. The Bible teaches us how to align ourselves more and more with God's good plan for our life. And that is plan is always perfect. That plan is always good. That plan is always pleasing. Amen, Huba. And let us always remember through God's word that Jesus has come to give us life, di lang basta-basta, but a life that is good. Amen. Palakpakan nato ang ginoo. And number two, no? Why don't you have time to read? 
No, karun, nga nabalaan na to, gaano ka-importante ang magbasa? No, the benefits of reading God's Word, nga man gyapon. There had been a lot of times nga wata nagabasa. No, why don't we give time to read? Okay? Because most of the time, what is our reason? We reason out that we don't have time. Okay? And let me remind you, every one of us, we do have an equal share of time. So it's not all about we don't have time. It's all about we don't give time. Are you with me? Here, my statistics ako dito. Okay? And because this is math, gibutang yun na ako. Okay? Kibasi mamali ang akong calculations later. Okay, here. On an average, people spend 1,642 hours a year watching TV. Okay? Kung gusto nyo mabala ng day, i-calculate nyo na lang. Si, si Sir Tablo de Rio, magtabang na siya. 608 hours a year on social media. And 819 hours a year just looking at our phones. Sino ang guilty de Rio? Ayaw na itaas ang kamot. Okay? And I think we have experienced that data, right? No? Siguro gani isata sa ara, dira. Okay? No? And there is, a, there is also um, a blog wherein, nabasa pud nako, this is the secret to reading 200 books in a year. No? Sino diri nakabasa? Biskan isa lang yun in a year. Diba? Do kung ibilango nato, do wa gid ay, no? Gamay rag yun, no? So this is the secret daw. Para makabasa ta og 200 books a year. From that data, i-stick lang na. Ito, ito yung gagawin natin. Watch 30% less TV. Okay, so from 1,642, i-less na to ang 30%. You do the math. Or spend 85% less time on social media. So minus na na po na ang 608 hours o 85%. And... 63% less time on your phone. So, amo daw to atong buhaton para makabasa ta og, og, og 200 books in a year. But my question is this, kung himuon na to tong math or himuon na to tong mga less-less nga to, do you think you will read? And the answer is no. Because this is not about time issue. This is about priority issue. Biskan unsa pa na nga mga statistics, unsa pa na nga mga nga mga tricks for you to read 200 books including the Bible in a year. If the Bible is not your priority, you will still not read it. Are you with me? Aray Lord, but thank you for the rebuke. Amen. So here, reading your Bible 15 minutes a day Five days a week only takes 65 hours a year. So, balik na dito. But ako kayo, no? 65 hours lang man di ay a year? Kung 15 minutes ta magbasa og Bible. Compared sa 1,600 plus nga hours kung maglantaw ta og TV. No? Ako kayo, wag ay kalapot 100. Kung 15 minutes ta in a day, five times a week ta magbasa og Bible. Di ba? Or it's only 4% of the time we spend on TV, only 8% of the time we spend looking at our phones, and 10% of the time we spend on the social media. Okay? And let me have this again. So the reason that we can find time for the Bible is the same reason that we can't read 200 books in a year. It is not our priority. Here, let me tell you, we don't have a scheduling problem. We have a self-deception problem. Kanang self-deception good nga we always tell our pastors or we always tell our life group leaders, te, wag ko kabasa, te, wag ko kadivo, kay busy yun ka ayoko. That self-deception of business. Don't worry. I, I was first rebuked by the Lord before kayo. So I'm passing it on. <laughs> diba? It's not about scheduling. But it's always about this self-deception problem nga busy ko. Busy good ko. Amunang di ko kabasa. You have to admit 
that you should not be busy for the Lord. Amen? It's difficult to find a when for the Bible because you are actually believe that you're too busy. Okay? We don't need a new planner. We just need to be honest with ourselves. We must admit that we are the problem. Kita ang problema. That we don't set Jesus as our priority. It's not our schedule. Palakpakan nato si Lord for the warning and the rebuke. Amen. And this week actually, no, I had a chat with Tita Mona. <laughs> Naabas si Tita Mona. Dari kawai kawai daw Tita Be. Where are you? And um, I told her that I admire her and Tito Ed, the way they are giving, the way they are sacrificing their time for the ministry. And I really admire no kaning mga hamtong nga ni lain pud kong tiguwang no hamtong ra no kaning mga hamtong ni no and praise god for their lives and i told her you know what tita mona no there had been times wherein i'm so guilty that i don't set god as my priority that there had been a lot of times that i am approached by mommy <laughs> to lead something but i would say i'm busy no amo gid siguro gid hatag ni mommy sa ako ah no, it's a double-edged sword. <laughs> Kapalog yun. <laughs> Glory to God. Okay? And right now, I would want us to applaud those people who serve in the ministry. No, kung naaman dere ang imong mga life group leaders, kung tapad ba nimo. No, pwede po nato put palakpakan atong pau team. Nindot kaayo the way they are giving time for the Lord. Ato ang mga pastors and life group leaders. No, let us always applaud them for their sacrificial time na ginahatag sa atua. They are never busy for the Lord to serve you. Amen ba? Thank God for our pastors. And number three, third point. How should we read? No, Thank you, Lord. Kay gihatag mo sa amo, kaano, ka-beneficial ang magbasa. O thank you, Lord, sa pag sa ako, ah, nga dapat dili na ko self-deceived, nga busy ko. It's, I, I have to put you as my priority. And how should we read now? Paano ta dapat magbasa? Here, the secret to reading the Bible consistently is to be hungry for it. That's it. We have to be hungry for it. We have to increase our appetite for it. Kailangan nato dugangan ang ato ang gana na magbasa o Bible. Dapat ganado ta permi. This is our joy. Without it in a day, we could not be complete. Without it in a day, we cannot be joyful. Without it in a day, we could be bothered. No, may kulang. Murag nga nagod, murag nabili ni mo ang imong, ang imong relo. No, pag add mo sa opisina, o feeling ni mo kulang kaayo, murag irritable ka kaayo, bothered ka, kay nabili lang imong relo. Same as true that, sh- that we should be feeling kung wala ta ka divo, kung wala ta ka basa o Bible. Amen ba? No? And I, I believe, no, na kisa ing ani pudta. Diba? At the start of the year, many Christians say the same thing. No, unsa to? This year, Lord, I will really read my Bible. Isa ni sa mga New Year's resolution nato. Tama, nga magbasa na yung tao Bible. But here, the problem is that we aren't hungry for the Bible. Ito, rather than having or setting a resolution to read the Bible, we have to have a resolution to find a hunger for the Bible. Amen, ho ba? No, dapat ingana ang atong heart. And let me end with this. In Matthew 5, 6, Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. Amen? No, dapat gutumo na yuta kay Lord. And let me have this in conclusion. I've been looking for so many tips and so many points nga pwede na ko include karong aga. But I am, I was so struck sa sining a truth. Now let me share this with you. The very reason why we have to increase our hunger for the Lord to read His Word is because of this. We need to understand this. Listen. More than we are interested in deepening our relationship with God by reading His Word, He is the God Almighty 
He is infinitely more interested in developing his relationship with us. Diba? Nindot kayo isipin, no? Nga more than kita, nga hungry to read his word, it is God, it is Jesus who has been longing all this time, who has been wanting all this time, who has been so desiring all this time to spend time with us by reading his word. Amen? And I hope it really rings a bell to everyone nga naadiri sa buong, no, to really increase our hunger for the Lord. And because I'm talking about the reading, let me share this, this story, a short story, about a Christian, a young Christian. No? And let, let us read this in total. No? Kasi reading naman tayo ngayon. Okay? Can we have that? Ito. You just follow me with your eyes. No? And this will be the, the, the conclusion. We walked next into the drawing room. I, I want you to imagine that you are this young Christian. Okay? We walked next into the drawing room. I like this room. It was intimate and pleasant with a fireplace, comfortable chairs, a bookcase, and a quiet atmosphere. The Lord seemed pleased with it. This is indeed a delightful room, says the Lord. Let us come here often and we can have fellowship together. As a young Christian, I could think of nothing I would rather do than have a few minutes apart with Christ in an intimate comradeship. He promised, I will be here every morning early, meet me, and we will start the day together. So morning after morning, I came downstairs to the drawing room. He would take the Bible from the bookcase, open it, and we would read together. He would warm my heart as he unfolded to me its truths and revealed his love and grace toward me. Can you still remember that feeling? No? Those were wonderful hours together. But little by little, under pressure of many responsibilities, our quiet times together shortened. This was not at all intentional. I was just too busy. Finally, I began now and then missed a day, then several days to study for examinations at the university or for other urgent activities. Then one morning, as I rushed down the steps eager to be on my way, I glanced into the drawing room and saw the Lord sitting there alone. I thought in dismay, nang hinayang siya, nang lumo. He is my guest. I invited him into my heart as Lord. And yet, here I am, neglecting him. With downcast glance, I went, na ulaw ko, I went and said, Blessed Master, have you been here all these mornings? Na akabadere per me? No, biskan wala ko all these mornings. And God answered, Yes. And He even continued, I told you I would be here every morning to meet with you. Right? It's just so good. It's just so wonderful to think and to experience that every morning, God is waiting for us to spend time with Him. Right? That every night before we strike the bed, God is waiting for us to pray. And God is there listening to us. Amen? It's just so refreshing. Even more ashamed, I ask His forgiveness, which He readily granted. He said, The trouble with you, son, is this. You have been thinking of the quiet time as a factor in your own spiritual progress, but have forgotten that this hour means something a lot to me also. Remember, I love you. I have redeemed you at great cost. I desire your fellowship. 
Nindot kayo paminawan that our God, the God of heavens, the God Almighty, the God that is eternal, He desires to have fellowship with us. Do not neglect this hour. Whatever else may be your desire, remember, I want your fellowship. Amen. Palakpakan nato si Lord. And I have few phrases for you. I hope that this truth, that God is desiring to have fellowship with us every morning and every night, the truth that God is wanting to have fellowship with us every morning and every night should be the very reason to increase our hunger to read His Word every day. Amen? Our fellowship with God will never have any depth apart from taking time to be with Him. Let's pray. Lord, thank You. Lord, I know and I am confident that you are seeing every heart right now. Every heart that is repentant. Every heart that is saying, Lord, forgive me. Forgive me for the times wherein I am into that self-deception. That I am too busy for you. That I am too busy to read your word. Lord, thank you for reminding me today that by reading your word, you want us to be like that tree. A tree planted near the streams of water. A tree that is strong and full of life. And Lord, sorry. Forgive me that there had been a lot of times that I neglected you. And Lord, how wonderful how wonderful it is to know and be reminded that you desire fellowship with me. It is so refreshing to be reminded that you want to spend time with me. Thank you for your word, oh God. Your word is truly the lamp to my feet. It is the path to life. Your word is active and alive. It is always practical. It is on point and timely. Lord, this time, when I am tired and pressured and troubled and overwhelmed with all the tasks and responsibilities in this world, remind me, remind me, oh God, that all the more that I have to approach your word, all the more that I have to spend time with you, Forgive me for all those times that I have neglected your word. That you are not my priority. That I have allowed myself to be overwhelmed. To be consumed of the worldly desires and responsibilities. Lord, when I am worried, remind me that it is your word that I have to approach. To give me security. When I am lonely, rejected, persecuted, remind me, Lord, that in your word alone, I can find comfort and assurance. Lord, there could be times wherein I could be in lack. I could be in need. I could be in sickness, oh God. But remind me, encourage me to always approach your word. To read your word because it is in your word alone. That I am reminded that you are our provider. You are our Jehovah Jireh. That you are our healer. You are our Jehovah Rapha, Lord, in the name of Jesus, oh God. You are the source of every good thing. And I declare today, we declare today, oh God, that we have overcome laziness. We have overcome idleness to read your word, Lord, in the name of Jesus, oh God. No one among us today is lazy, is idle, tamad, nga magbasa sa ibang word, Lord. But today we declare that we are hungry all the more for your word in the name of Jesus, oh God. 
This will be the very word of our mouth, Lord. You are our passion, oh God. You are our very desire. You are our all and all. You are our great God, oh God. Hallelujah, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, oh God, for your great reminder. Thank you for your word today, oh God. In Jesus' name. Amen, amen, and amen. Palakpakan nato ang ginoo. And right now, I would like to request our parents. No, kaina lang yun di nga aga nagihatag sa ako ani Lord. Can I request all the parents present here right now to please stand up? No, pwede ba nako i request ang mga parents nato? No, nga magtindog. Ayan. Sa ato ang mga parents, thank you palakpakan nato at ang mga nanay o tatay. I love to see all your faces. Sa mga parents nato nga naadiri karon, I just want to remind everyone that our purpose is not just to raise kids, but to raise a godly generation. I want to tell everyone and remind everyone that it is not enough to give food to feed our kids, to give them shelter. To send them to school, but parents, it is our responsibility to raise our children in faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Parents, it is our responsibility to teach our kids to love God's word and to love God the most. Amen. Let me pray for you, Lord. Thank you for these parents. Thank you for these parents who love their kids, who love their children, oh God. Lord, we know that your mercy is new every morning. Forgive us parents if there had been a lot of times that we neglect our very purpose to teach our kids, to raise our kids in faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, I pray that you will equip each one present here right now. Increase the parents' appetite for your word in the Lord Jesus Christ. Give them wisdom in raising their kids in faith in you. Bless their every word, every word that they utter to their kids. Every time they're encouraged, they encourage their kids. To do their family devotional, oh God, give them a heart to always understand and ears to always listen. Bless them, oh God, that they will be a role model of faith to their children. In Jesus' name, Amen and Amen and Amen. Palakpakan nato ang ginoo. Thank you, parents, and I hope you will be one. With us, no, in doing our family devotional once a week, and of course to our new friends, no, as any mga new friends natin kawai kawai, may I request you to please stand up, no, and again I want I want to tell you that God desires to have that intimate relationship with you, and we will start that no by by this prayer. Sige, meron ba tayo mga new friends jain? Sige, pwede pa nating palakpakan yung mga new friends natin. Ayan. Sige. So, just pray with me. Leaders, follow with me as well. Thank you. Let's pray. Oh Lord Almighty, thank you for reminding me today that you desire to have fellowship with me. Forgive me for all those times that I neglected you. Forgive me of my sins, O oh God. And today, Lord, I understand that without you, my life is nothing. That without you, my life is wasted. Today, Lord, I accept you as my Lord and personal Savior, O oh Jesus Christ. And this time, my life will never be the same again. Be the captain of my heart. Help me that you will be my focus. You will be my center. 
from this day forward. In Jesus' name, amen and amen and amen. Palakpakan nato ang ginoo and praise God for everyone present here who are already hungry and who have that kind of appetite, massive appetite for the Word of God. Have a blessed Sunday, everyone. Hello, good afternoon everyone. Um, good afternoon, I am Kirby Abbott from the Network Overcomers and my leader is a super mom, Nanay Tin Limana. So, um, I will be the one to challenge tonight, I, today, this afternoon. My key verse is found in Malachi 3.10. Bring the whole tithe into the storehouse, that there may be food in my house. Test me in this, says the Lord Almighty, and see if I will not throw open the floodgates of heaven and pour out so much blessing that there will not be room enough to store it. So it was 2017 when my family's finances started to shatter. So we took a big loan to start up a business. So catering to be exact. And then months after, we found out that uh, my mom has a terminal ovarian colon cancer. And we couldn't keep up with the loan payments. And of course, end up, ended up drowning in debts. And we also tried to believe kanang 25K, himo na 100K. Ana, so... Samot, ni samot yun. So I had panic attacks, I had sleepless nights, I even resorted to online loans. Imagine eight kabuok, one thousand karon ugma dos mil na ang bayaron. No, so it was really not easy, but um, God is still great. Even though I experience, I, mean, I was experiencing those moments, still kasimbag happen ko. But He led me to CCFI and. Uh, that time, I found my life group, so overcomers. They helped me actually fought these battles. You know, they encouraged me and they even kanang cheered up for me to just really obey God despite chaos. So I started surrendering everything to Him. So I encounter ko. I, this is I had twice encounter. So but uh, glory to God, um, a sister of mine. You know, at the Rodeline Bombita, so he recruited me to Cortel Realty. Actually, I am an ESL tutor also, pero diligent siya makakip up sa mga bayro nun. And uh, so, ana ko, I didn't think that I am for this forte. So I started selling and selling and selling. And then, you know, even though nagalisod me, I really tried my best to give back. And I started giving and giving and giving. So glory to God, no, I was included on the top uh, salary last year, and I even hit the top one for the its last quarter. And I got incentives. Nasa una ginadream lang nako because it isn't those weren't my priorities. And from field catering, we also started our online food trace business. Again, glory to God. For the last five months, we sold almost 500 trays. I know there will be a lot of difficulties ahead of us, and but I know there will be um, greater victories ahead of us too. So glory to God in Him. Wala jui dili makaya, and you know you just really have to be tough because our God is tougher. So bawal lang to siya. Daghan kaya salamat. Sa opportunity na yung gatag sa kuwa. So let us erase our tight cards and pray. So Lord, we come before you today to present our tithe and offering to you in faith. We believe your word and we honor it by putting our faith in action through giving. We thank you for your blessing and we believe 
we will have what you have promised. In Jesus' name, amen. Good day everyone and welcome to Christian Church Fellowship International. Welcome especially to our new friends today. Stay tuned for our announcements. Our Sunday service celebration is every 2 p.m. here at the Word for Everyone Ministries and the recorded service will be posted in our YouTube channel in the evening on the same day. We are inviting our new friends to join one of our life groups and start up your new life with Jesus. You can ask the person who invited you for more details. To our parents out there, we encourage you to permit your kids to join our weekly online happiness group for the youngsters and teenagers every Friday, 4 p.m. online. It is important to pray and it's fun praying together. Join us in our online dawn prayer meeting every Saturday, 5 in the morning. And let's build up our prayer life together. Ask your life group leaders for the link. We have our YouTube channel where we upload weekly in case you miss our Sunday service and other videos. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and share our videos. Also, visit our official Facebook account for updates and other announcements. This church is about celebrating Jesus and celebrating the life He gave us. Have a blessed birthday to everyone celebrating life this week. Happy birthday! If you find it more convenient to give your tithes and offering online, posted on the screen is our account numbers for BPI, GCash, and Paymaya. Happy giving! We are excited to inform everyone that we have started and are on the road to building our own church facility. Here are some pictures of the progress of the construction. We still have a long way to go, and if you find in your heart to help with the building, Here's our BPI account number, GCash or PayMaya number flashed on screen. Thank, Thank you, you for, for watching and God bless us all. Special announcement, SOL1 students, physical and online, meron po, meron po session, 4.30 p.m. sa Morales Encounter Center. SOL2 students, sa facility tayo sa Purok Malakas at 5 p.m. Also, live class na hindi naka-attend ng lesson 1, sa facility din tayo at 4.30 p.m. Glory to God! Come on, let's stand up. I believe everyone is blessed this afternoon. Amen? Yeah. Come on, let's sing this song.
Come on, let's raise our hands. is blessed and has learned something through God's yeah, word today. Amen. It is our prayer and desire that we all grow more in wisdom yeah, and in love amen. and also change as we listen to God's word. If you do have questions and clarifications, feel free 
to message us through our FB page, and we will respond to you as promptly as we can. We believe that people need the Lord, so don't forget Amen. to share this video to your loved ones and your neighbors. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and give that bell a tap for notifications and new videos. God, God bless, bless you and see you on our, our next video. video.